Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering Easy. Today I am going to discuss about the shape factor of structural steel sections. In part second of this video, you will learn about how to calculate the shape factor of various sections. But before that, I am going to give you an overview how the shape factor came into being. For that, we need to understand the background of two theories. That is theory of elasticity and theory of plasticity. Let's discuss the theory of elasticity first. In structural analysis, the concept used in the analysis and design of structure subjected to various types of loading is that we assume the elastic behavior of the materials. That is, the stress is directly proportional to strain in order to obey the hook law. This concept only considers the capacity of material up to the yield point, but the reserve capacity of the material is not utilized. The design outcome of this concept was a thick and uneconomical section. Let's come to plastic theory. If we look into the stress strain curve of the mild steel, the material neither fell at the yield point nor fell at the ultimate point, but fell at maximum strain. From this, we got a conclusion that elastic material have a reserve capacity which was not utilized in the concept of theory of elasticity. For a ductile material like structural steel, member reaching yield at the extreme fiber retains a reserve strain that varies with the shape factor. Shear factor is defined as the ratio of the plastic moment and the yield moment of the section. It is a function of the cross section from the shape and is represented by S. Mathematically, the shear factor is equal to the plastic moment divided by the yield moment. As we know that the plastic moment is equal to Fy into Zp divided by the yield moment is equal to Fy into Ze. Fy will be cancelled with Fy, we will get Zp divided by Ze, where Ze is elastic moduli and Zp is the plastic moduli, where Mp is the moment at which the entire section is under yield stress, and My is the moment at which the section yield. Let's discuss about the plastic moment. Moment at which the entire section is under yield stress, that is the compressive force equal to the tensile force. As we know that the compressive force is equal to the area of compression zone multiplied by the yield stress. That will be equal to the tensile force is equal to area in the tensile zone multiplied by the yield strain. As we know that the area of compression zone is equal to area of tensile zone that will be equal to A divided by 2. The neutral axis basically divide the cross section into two parts. So the compression will be equal to tension that is equal to A divided by 2 into yield stress. If we look into the change in stress distribution diagram, the C and T shows the compressive and tensile force. These two forces produce a couple that will be equal to the magnitude of the force and their respective distance. The magnitude of force is Ay into sigma y and the respective distance is yc plus yt. The Ay divided by 2 into Yc plus Yt is called the plastic modulus. In short summary, the shear factor signifies how much extra moment a member can take after attaining the first yield. It is a geometrical property, not a material property. For example, the shear factor for rectangular section is 1.5, which means 50% extra moment a member can take after attaining first yield. That was all about the shear factor. In the next part of this video, you will learn about how to calculate the shear factor of various sections. 